all right guys here we are back again so rounding numbers hope you like my new layout and i'm gonna leave a poll at the end of this video to see if you guys like this or future videos well how do we round video uh, round uh, numbers not videos firstly there are two different ways of specifying where numbers should be rounded and these are um, defined as decimal places or significant figures so decimal or or decimal places or significant figures okay and we usually call this DP there's no S there by the way and SF okay so let's do an example just so we can jump straight into it so for example the question might ask us what is 8.456392 2 decimal places well we could say that the solution to this one would be the following we look at so the way this works we always look at the the two the two decimal places here so we look at the last digit and then the decider is always going to be the one before it so this would be the decider now if the decider is five or bigger then we round 45 up into the next digit so this value goes up by one so 8.45 therefore becomes 8.46 and that's it this would be to 2 dp however if the question asked us to round um to say let's do the same question again but slightly different three five four three nine to 2 dp well we look at the first two numbers and now we look at the decider but we notice this time it's actually the decider is less than five if that's the case then we just ignore this and 8.35 stays at 8.35 okay good no bad so far over there so far so good now let's move on to um, another major which is called significant figures so suppose we had a value let's just say the example in this case would be 0 0.0254 and then we want to round to two significant figures significant figures means the first non-zero number of course we have zeros here and these are the first two non-zero numbers again we look at this number and just like decimals this is our decider as it's less than five hence the solution is going to just going to be 0 0.25 if this was 5 or greater then this would be 2 6 and same thing for another one suppose we had the whole number for 25 2 let's say 2572 and we want to round to two significant figures again we look at the first two non-zero numbers 7 is our decider as it's 5 bigger then we round 25 to 26 and of course because there's no decimal we must add two zeros so 2,522 to 2 significant figures is literally 2,600. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Now, let's do some exercise, okay? So, suppose we want to try these examples. So, what do we have? Here, we want to round the following examples. Okay, so, let's do this together. So, here, this is something you guys can do as well. So, try these examples. So, first things first. Round is to three significant figures. Well, again, look at the first three numbers. And then we look at the decider, which is the 2. As it's less than um, 5, it's just going to be 53.8. And now we look at three decimal places. So here, we look at the first three numbers. As 8 is less than, is bigger than, um, what's it called, 5. Hence, we increase the, the number for it to 4. So it will be 53.824. Okay, good. Let's repeat the same thing here. Three similar figures would be up to here. Hence, this would be, and as 4 is less than 5, it's just going to be the same number without the 4. Hence, the same thing with 3DP. So we look at the first three decimal place, and if the side is the 4, as it's less, it's just going to be 0 0.007. 3DP. And lastly, our final example, number 3. So, this one is, a, is not so tricky, but... You just have to pay attention 
So the first three sinning figures, again, we look at the first three numbers. Six is the cider because it's bigger than five, hence we round seven, nine, eight, two, seven, nine, nine. Whoops, that was a back bun. And yeah, seven, nine, nine. We stick in a nice zero because it's four digits. Okay. Lastly, three DP. So again, look at the first three, dig uh, first three decimal places. The side is nine. It's bigger than five, hence we copy the whole thing out. 86.48 and we round 4882489. That's it. That's pretty much the gist of it. Any doubts, you know, you can't let this blow you away in the exam. We just have to practice it and pretty much just demolish it. And then hopefully you guys got it. So now I'm gonna leave a poll at the end. And guys, tell me what you think of this layout. If you like it or not, I mean I think it's pretty cool. And oh if it's distracting again. You tell me. Well, but other than that, I shall see you all soon. Ciao.